Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Epitaph, a Korean horror anthology from 2007. In February 1942, the fate of a handful of hospital employees and patients intertwine through three separate stories. Browsing an old photo book, an old man recollects his memories to those days in 1942 when Korea was occupied by Japan and he was a young and immature intern doctor in Ansung Hospital. During those four days, strange events will happen when corpses brought to the mortuary are unable to rest in peace. And uh, yeah, so it's a three-story structure here. Now the film opens with black and white imagery of a man's head getting cut open in surgery. Uh, some good special effects in that scene, and it is a bit disturbing. Surgery scenes always kind of impact me. We are introduced to the old man, mentioned in the plot synopsis, and that he leads us into these stories. So the first story, while waiting for his bride-to-be to arrive from Japan, the daughter of the hospital's director, a young man is fascinated by a recently diseased or deceased young woman. He gets assigned to morgue duty and spends time near the corpse, drawing her face, and it's time for the deceased to return her appreciation. Now, of all the stories in this anthology, this has the slowest pace, all right? It moves very slowly, and they need to set up the, uh, you know, the hospital environment and the time period as well, so you need to be a little bit patient with this one early on. Fortunately, this has an intriguing story, and it implements a few dreamy, artsy sequences that are a bit confusing and require some subjective interpretation. Now, you do need to think while watching basically all of these short films in this anthology, but it is interesting to try to figure out what is happening exactly. Now, in terms of scares, there, there is one highlight moment, but there is a healthy dose of thematic horror in, in terms of, like, the morgue setting and some of the uh, story elements. A good segment, but probably my least favorite of the three in this anthology due to the pacing issues. Now, story two. Asako is a young girl who is the only survivor of a car accident, which killed her family. She does not speak and appears to be in a state of shock, but what the doctors cannot see is that she's being visited by the ghost of her mother. Now, unlike the first segment, this one gets off to a fast start. You know, the horror is thrown at you up front and on a consistent basis throughout, allowing for a, a faster pace to the, to the film. The scares are... I guess somewhat conventional, but they are well executed and incorporate some cool visuals. Uh, some very cool visuals in this one. I enjoyed the dramatic elements as well, primarily because this is more of like a tragic feel to it. And I really like the lead actress, uh, the, the little girl especially, because she does a great job of acting terrified, and she does that a lot in this story. There is some snowy imagery, and the use of like dreamy images and sequences is continuing to be used in this story as well. Although they are more easily interpreted when compared to the first story in this anthology. So this is probably my personal favorite of the three short stories here because it's the most purely entertaining and the easiest to follow in terms of story. Now the last segment here, this focuses on the serial killings of Japanese soldiers which are referenced in the prior segments. So that aspect, the serial killer was kind of like lurking in the background um, but now they bring it forward to be the main plot of the finale here. So we have a married couple, both surgeons, who are involved in the autopsies of the murdered victims. And this is probably the most perplexing of the segments, the most difficult to follow, I think, as it's rolling. Lots of twists and turns, and at some points you'll be asking yourself, like, what exactly is going on here? But it does become more understandable as it moves along. And there's almost... No, well, there's very little chance you're going to predict who the murderer is or how things are going to play out in general, the way they structure things. So I think plot-wise this is very dense, but it's thought-provoking and pretty interesting. The scares have more of like a thriller vibe to this one due to, this, due to the serial killer aspect, but it does provide something different uh, compared to the other stories here. So really to sum it up, Epitaph kind of has the bells and whistles that you would expect from a good quality Korean horror film. You know, you got good acting, solid cinematography, set designs, 
and a thought-provoking screenplay that kind of makes you think while you're watching it. Uh, the horror elements are pretty classical. Sometimes they rely on thematic horror just as much as visceral scares. So if you want a film where you're getting a ton of jump scares, you're getting like a lot of like fast-paced horror stuff, this may not be up your alley for that evening. But uh, yeah, it's a good it's a good flick. There are some fantastic visuals too that you know I'm not going to spoil for you. And the period setting's a nice touch. So one thing I did notice though. There are a few stylistic similarities to A Tale of Two Sisters in this. Like some of the musical cues, I'm like, wow, that's very similar to A Tale of Two Sisters. Um, and some of like the visual aspects too as well are similar. So, you know, it's not enough to be considered a ripoff or anything, but just something that I uh, observed. This is a good solid anthology, and I recommend it. And it's still available on DVD. I think there's a... Region 1 release still out there, and there's also the Deluxe Edition Korean Region 3 release also out there. So, let me know what you think of this one. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.